in this session we will cover our practicals right advanced java programming so as per our discussion we will cover first three practicals today okay first three practicals today so first practical is write a program to demonstrate the use of awt components like label text field text area button checkbox and radio button so first practical first practical number 1 is implemented by i think uh, dhayaja is on the call yes sir okay hello you can share the screen okay okay sir so there are some questions first we have to implement these two programs we have to create radio button and check box then text field text area button and label then there are practical related question three questions are there and three questions are in exercise okay there aja you can share the screen yes sir first question is uh, i think practice program we have to implement program first question is design an applet to demonstrate the use of radio button and check box so here we have to create radio button and check box right so execute this code yes sir yes, sir. So I already have uh, the codes over here. So can I just uncomment it and execute it? Will it be okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, or you can cut this code directly. I think this same code is available in Word file, right? Yes, sir. okay uh, this is first practical so here she created one frame right frame is created its visibility is set that is true that's why frame is display on the screen then here size is set for frame that is 400 pixel width and 400 pixel height okay she set the layout for her program that is grid layout which we have seen yesterday right first parameter in the constructor to represent total number of rows and second parameter represent three total number of columns so screen is divided into two rows and three columns okay frame title jeki title bar var display hunare it is experiment number 1 when she will execute the program then on the title bar there is a name experiment number 1 will be added then here by using checkbox class here three checkboxes created with the name checkbox 1 checkbox 2 and checkbox 3 right and then here we have to create radio buttons right 
सो चेकबॉक्स ग्रुप ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड सी एच जी ओके एंड फॉर रेडियो बटन हियर अगेन वी नीड चेकबॉक्स चेकबॉक्स क्लास कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड इन दैट कंस्ट्रक्टर we have specify the name of that radio button that is radio button 1 2 3 and we have to add these three radio buttons in the checkbox group that is chg object so second parameter is chg if you seen the constructor of radio button so second parameter is chg and uh, when our frame it will be display then it is not selected so all parameters third parameters are false if you make true then this first then this particular radio button will be selected by default and then we have to add all the controls on our frame so here add method is used right so first three c1 c2 c3 r1 r2 r3 are added on the screen okay she uses frame class to implement this program you can implement your program by using applet also okay so this is a one way you can implement your program by using applet that is another way so uh, please execute this program here yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. See here. First three check boxes are created, and next three are radio buttons. So you can see we can select all the check boxes. Check box one, check box two, and check box three. Just select it. Yes. Select check box two also. Just put. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Ah uh, yes. Uh, sir, is the screen good? Yes, but uh, I think uh, your screen is stuck. Have you okay. check box two and check box three? Yes, sir. Ah uh, uh, yes, yes. Now it it, it works. So check box okay. two. We can select all the check boxes, but we cannot select all the radio buttons. We can select only single radio button at a time. so if you select radio button 3 so radio button 2 radio button 1 only one component will be activated and other two are false right so they are not activated so we can select single option from radio button but we can select multiple options from the check box so this is the difference between check box and radio button okay then next program is second program that is design an applet application to create form using text field text area button and label so we have to include this four controls on our screen so show the program yes sir yes sir uh, just uh, okay so here we have to import awt package first here again frame class object is created we have set visibility of frame frame size then here we have set another layout that is flow layout flow layout means what all the controls are added one after another on single line okay then title is set then label one is created so how to create label by using label class and then we can specify the label name in the constructor that is label name this is the name of our label then this label is added on the frame so f dot add l1 then button object is created p1 by using button class and its name is button name and it is also added on the frame by using add method then text field is created and here 10 represent that by default its size is set 
for 10 characters but it can accept more than 10 characters also but when the screen will be display that time its size will be set for 10 characters and its t1.set text this is the method of text field so in that text field this text will be text field then this text field will be added on the frame by using add method and here in next code we have created text area object is ta1 by using text area class and here this ta1 object of text area is added on the frame by using add method okay so execute this code yes sir So here uh, you can see here label name that is our label button name specifies our button you can click on the button also then next is text field you can add other text also in the text field just type type the text or remove all the text from the text field so this is text so this is single line control okay and if you want to add multiple lines in the control so it becomes text area so next control is text area you can add text in the text area also just enter and put another line okay you can add multiple lines in the text area okay so this is the second program's output then next program is so in the result part you have to write down your output and then practical related question so first question is state the difference between checkbox and radio button so just yes sir so this is the difference between radio button and checkbox main difference is we can select multiple options from the checkbox but it is not available for radio button we can select only one option okay so i think this one is correct then here again representation is display it is a single control unit it is a multiple control unit then we can create a radio button by using checkbox and checkbox group class I think uh, the, that difference is not mentioned, right? And the checkbox is created by using checkbox class. Okay? Then, yes, sir. Add it right now. Yes. Checkbox, checkbox has three. Uh, yes, you can write here. We can, we can use checkbox group and checkbox class to create radio button we can use checkbox class checkbox and checkbox group class checkbox and checkbox group class and for checkbox we can use only checkbox class to create the then representation time radio buttons display on the screen with small circle and checkbox display with the small square okay so this is the difference between radio button and checkbox the next question is write the use of set enabled method so set enabled method method the code set enabled when it is false it disable the text field is not selectable and user can't copy data from it and also user cannot able to edit or copy manje apan text field tayar keliye ani t1 object tayar kela t1 dot set enable false kelela ahe tala tar apan tyamade kontai data enter karu shakat nahi ani jar to true asel then we can edit it so by default text field 
जी आते ती एडिटेबल आते सो बाय डिफॉल्ट सेट इनेबल मेथड ट्रू आते इन द कोड यू यू कैन सेट इट मैन्युअली फॉल्स सो यू कैन एडिट द टेक्स्ट फील्ड ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ड्रॉ द लाइफ साइकल ऑफ एन एप्लेट ओके दिस इज कोर जावा कोर जावा क्वेश्चन सो हियर देर आर टोटल फोर स्टेट्स वी कैन सी बॉन्ड स्टेट रनिंग स्टेट आइडल स्टेट एंड डेड स्टेट बाय यूजिंग इनिट मेथड वी कैन गो इन साइड द बॉन्ड स्टेट मीन्स अवर एप्लेट विल बी क्रिएटेड ओके सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टार्ट मेथड एप्लेट गोज इन टू रनिंग स्टेट एंड वी कैन कॉल मल्टीपल टाइम्स पेंट मेथड विल बी कॉल्ड ओके सो इट विल डिस्प्ले वॉट एवर द ग्राफिक्स we have to add on the screen so it will display with the help of paint method okay when we call stop method so our applet goes into idle state and if you want to make it executable again or move to running state so we have to call start method again if you call destroy method so our applet will be destroyed that is in dead state so it will close okay this is the life cycle of an applet then next is exercise develop a program using label to display message welcome to java so here we have to create one label so no need to execute this program just we can explain so here frame frame object is created visibility size and set layout is flow layout so set title of frame is set experiment number 1 and here label is created and where to give name in the constructor of label that is welcome to java is printed on the label and this label added on the screen that is l1 this is not l1 this is l1 name of our object okay show the output for that so here you can see welcome to java is display on the screen okay the next question is develop a program to select multiple languages known to user that is marathi hindi english and sanskrit so here we have to create checkbox so here four checkboxes are created and we can set the name for this checkboxes in the constructor that is marathi english hindi and sanskrit and this all checkboxes added on the screen so this is not a new new point we have already completed checkbox in the first program right so show the output so here we can select multiple options from the from the available option you can select all or you can select multiple or single so this is the job of checkbox the next question yes. is write a program to create three buttons with caption okay reset and cancel so here third program is here buttons are created with the help of button class and object names are b1 b2 b3 and we can set its name in the constructor so okay reset and cancel are enclosed within double quotation mark so at the time of frame will be display these names are display on this button and these buttons are added on our frame that is by using add method so in the output there are three buttons are display and name of these three buttons are okay reset and cancel okay the mm. next question is i think practical one is completed okay okay thank you dhayaja for yes. presentation okay so difference between bagat